Hello, and welcome to another installment of Student Life. My name is Muhammad Hill, and this is Sharif Nelson. And today we are talking about academics versus extracurricular activities. So Sharif, how do you manage to get to your extracurricular activities on time? Well, Mohammed, it, it's basically about time management. You have to plan ahead and know that if you're gonna, if you wanna be here on time, then you're gonna have to plan ahead and have good time management skills. That's solid, that's solid. What do you do um, if you're trying to get somewhere on time, right, for a extracurricular activity, but you also have to work? Well, it's all, it's actually, that's a very good question. Um, it's about proper communication. If you communicate to, like, say you have to work and you communicate to your boss to let them know that, hey, I have an extracurricular activity, or communicate to like your coach or your teacher or whoever's running the program that you have to work, um, you could probably schedule something to where as though you might be able to make both or compromise. Okay, okay. If you miss class, how do you make up work? I personally will go to my teacher beforehand that when I know I'm gonna miss class to get my work beforehand because again, if things change and you, you, the teacher may be running fat, like moving fast, and you may not be able to catch up with that teacher and you never want to just miss work and get zero. Yeah, been there. How do, how do you put student before athlete? That's a very good question. Student before athlete is very hard. You have to know that whatever extracurricular activity that you're doing, student comes first. You have to know that your grades are plan A. You can't get anywhere without your grades being on point and graduating before your extracurricular activities. Yeah. At your school, is there such thing as academic probation? Where if your grades are really like poor, they won't even let you? Yes, activity? like I'm on the on football team, so if you had under a 2.3 GPA, you were unallowed to participate in, you had to come to practice, and you had to do extra study time, but you were unallowed to play in any of the games. So I tried to maintain above a 2.3. I was able to. Okay. Uh, how do you keep up the decent grades while still attending extracurricular activities? Well. I allot my time, allot myself some study time, and I like to participate and ask a lot of questions in class. It's where as though I understand all of the material. And if not, I'll contact a friend or a student who does understand the material to speak with them. Uh, what activities, what advices, rather, do you have for someone who's struggling with grades but still wants to do extra activities? Again, if you're struggling with your schoolwork, you need to talk to your teacher or talk, talk to your parents, talk to a friend to make sure you get your grades up. Because again, extracurricular, it's extra. Student comes first. That's good. Uh, how do you get ample time to sleep with such a busy schedule? I personally lose sleep because of my busy schedule, but Again, if you plan accordingly and make yourself a decent amount of time and plan for you to go to sleep, you could be able to pull it off. All right. How does dedication and good time management skills do? How do dedication and, and good time management skills play a part in success? Again, if you're, if you're dedicated to what you're trying to do in your extracurriculars, you can pretty much do whatever you put your mind to. If you're dedicated and you have good time management skills, like if you can't plan ahead to allot yourself, allot yourself the time that you need, then I best believe you're not as dedicated as you need to be. All right, all right. Both. With extracurricular activities, if you're dedicated 
to your extracurricular activities. It'll show in your progress, your game. If you're in the chess team, it'll show in the amount of matches that you win. If you're on the football team or the basketball team, it'll show in the amount of games that you win. And with academics, it'll show in your grades. Like, dedication will go a long way. All right. Uh, what advice do you have for a freshman just starting a new sport and trying to achieve success? You should maintain, come to like a plateau level for your grade, if you understand what I mean, um, t to be before you want to sign up for anything, because once your grade drops, it's very hard to bring it back up. And even if you do, you won't like you won't have it at the level that you expect if you had started out and had your grade right first before trying to put something else on your plate. Can you explain what you meant by plateau for your grades? You, like with me, I want to maintain all A's, or, all A's and B's, no C's, no D's or F's. So if I have all my grades in a decent A or B, I'll be fine to put an extracurricular activity on my plate. If I have a C, I, won't, I'll, I might have to miss practice um, once or twice or maybe talk to my teachers to get some extra credit to bring my grade up because I know that once my grade drops, it's very hard to bring it back up. Uh, what time do you leave yourself to study, uh, chill, and hang out with friends, if any? Um, I don't leave myself many, much time to um, hang out with friends. I do leave myself some time to study, but the weekends pretty much are clear for me. So a lot of my extracurricular activities are during the week, and as long as you, you have your homework done, you've studied enough, and your grades are right, you have a lot of time to go hang out, chill, do whatever with your friends. Okay. Well, that's all the questions we have for today. And again, this is Muhammad Hill. And Sharif Nelson. And this has been another edition of Student Life. See you. Cool beans. Red light went off. Right, right, right. <laughs>